Hey everyone, today on the bench I'm going to tie you up Pearlback Stillwater Nymph. This is a variation of the Denny Rickards Stillwater Nymph they come out with so, year, so many years ago and we've been using for years. Very, very effective fly. I'm just going to change some of the materials, some of the new materials that we have available uh, nowadays and you can uh, trick some of these flies out. I modified it and uh, the fish are really liking this one too. For the tail, I'm going to use some Olive Marabou, this is kind of an olive done, or you can use a golden olive or something like that. For the um, shellback, I'm going to use some good broad metallic braid and pearl. These are the guys that bring you all your fly rod uh, building components. The body, I'm going to use some peacock curl. This is dyed bright green. Beautiful, beautiful coloration when they dye this. Peacock curl. They've been doing that for years and it's, it makes quite a difference and quite a nice uh, change and I, I like using that. The rib I'm going to use some small copper wire and for the hackle I'm going to use some Metz micro barb. This is micro barb saddle. These are dry fly saddles. And uh, for the hook we're going to use a Daiichi 1170 number 12. You can use a 1560, you can use a nymph hook, 2x long. Denny ties all his stillwater nymphs in size 10s and 12s. I go 10s and 12s, and uh, here's even a little 14 that I've tied. There's some here as well. So, uh, we're, oh, I did have my 14 anyway. Um, so, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Well, let's get this hook in the vise here and uh, tie up. It's pretty easy to apply to tie. And the fish like to eat it, so that's a winner in my books. I'll just dress the hook. I'm using an Olive Dunn thread, A dot thread. I'm going to bring in a blood quill here. Get the nice tips lined up. There we go. Tie that on there. Not quite enough. I'm going to already strip that bottom part off. I'm going to add a little more. You can always add or take away. I'm going a little bit longer than the shank of the body. A little bit longer than the body. I'm wrapping my butts down to the to the eye. So I've got my body fairly level. Keep it nice and even. Got it in the way there. Then I'm going to bring in my good broad, my pearl shell back. Been using this stuff for years on wing cases. It is really, really nice. Soft, pliable, bright. It's a kind of a chrome pearl. Boy, that is just wonderful stuff. See that in the water, you can see it a long ways away. I'm bring in some copper wire here. Little piece. We're going to tie that along the side. Keep her body fairly even. Take a wire to the back. Then I grab myself about four strands peacock curl. I always clip that and tie it by the tips. And take my thread forward to the tie off position. When you tie by the tips, when you pull it back, you pull the barbels down or out, makes it a lot buggier. Look, and then when you're up by hand, like this, you get a much nicer body. There we go. Look at that. Isn't that a nice body? There. There. We won't crowd the eye of our hook too bad there. Cut it off. So I'm not using the, peak, the rope idea on this one for strength. I got the copper wire here that's going to come in later and give me my strength. So let's grab some uh, burnt orange. Saddle, just pinch off a little from the side, catch that behind the eye. It's a little stem, I just trim that off. Popped out on me there, so there we go. A little half hitch in there just to hold everything together. Now we spiral our 
hackle to the rear, four or five turns, come over the top. I'm just going to reverse wrap this now with a copper wire forward. That should just pop off. Tie off our wire. I cut it with the inside of the scissors so you don't dull your scissors up. Quick way to ruin a good pair of scissors with wire. Trim my little butts off the hackle. I'm going to just take a snip it off the top here. Trim the hackle out before I pull my shell back over top. And I keep it fairly snug. I'm just going to take a couple turns in here. Lay my scissors at the same angle as the down eye on the hook. And finish my fly. Bring in my whip finish. Just got a couple little fibers coming forward. And just clean that up. There we go. Not too bad. Okay. There we have it. The important thing too, folks, when you're palmering these bodies, you'll notice all the hackles standing out to the side. That really affects how that fly will swim. It won't swim properly. Denny Rickards was quite concerned. He always told me, make sure to trim these hackles off the side at like 45. Just lay your hook along the, or your scissors along the hook shank and get those hackles. So they're basically coming just off the bottom. And that is a, a really good little fly pattern right there. Uh, Denny's Stillwater Nymph. This is a variation of materials. And uh, boy, that really tricked that fly out nice. These fish really like, uh, like this. It's, you can see it from a long ways away and it's very suggestive. You can use a lot of the really soft, uh, here's some really nice soft marabou for the tail. It could with that, but this will breathe too. And uh, that'll do it. Here's a, here's a fly. You can fish with your intermediate lines. Nice and slow. You can little five, four inch strips. A quick strip, slow it down. See what the fish want. Some days um, they'll, they'll change. The fish will let you know what you retrieve. They'll like the best. Or even really quick little hand twists to work well with this fly. So you can also use it on a sink tip if you want to bring it up at an angle. That'll, uh, that'll fool a lot of fish as well. So all the best for this one, the Pearlback Stillwater Nymph. We're going to have some of these available on the online shop and the Sports Fishing on the Fly store. So hope to see you back for some more of our flies. Thank you for watching. To watch all our latest Sport Fishing on the Fly episodes and to order Sport Fishing on the Fly merchandise, head to www.sfotf.ca. And if you'd like to book an adventure like this one shown, Head to ontheflyadventures.ca and book yourself the trip of a lifetime.